All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below so that you can follow along. Today we're going to be talking about merging accounts in the chart of accounts. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our exercise. We're going to start as always in the sample company. So here I am in my sample company. If you need help finding the sample company or signing up for your free QBOA account, that information is in the links below as well. So here I am in my sample company and let's go ahead and read our scenario. So the scenario says you are doing some cleanup work for Craig and notice that he has both an accounting and a bookkeeper account that are the same account type and could be merged to save space. You've decided to combine these accounts into one account called accounting and bookkeeping. What steps do you need to take? Now, word of warning, which is right here on the thing, is that this is just for the purposes of the exercise. This is not to tell you that you should always combine these two accounts. Um, that is a decision that Craig has to make, his accountant has to make. This is just for the purposes of this exercise so that you can learn how to do this. Okay, so let's take a look at our first step. So we're gonna go to the chart of accounts. We're gonna get there by going to on the left navigation bar going to accounting and then select chart of accounts. Since this is the first time I'm using the chart of accounts in this version of the sample company, I'm going to see this. If you are doing this on the heels of some of our other exercises, you might not see this little window, but I am going to click on see your chart of accounts. And then here I am in my chart of accounts. So going back to our exercise, step two, um, scroll down or use the search bar to find the bookkeeper account, then click the drop down arrow in the action column and select edit. Okay, so in the picture, I typed in book to find it. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to type in right here. This is filter by name. We're going to type in book. I can type book. And when I do that, notice the bookkeeper account comes up. And over here in the action column, this little drop down arrow, I can select edit. Going back to our exercise, um, step three says change the name of the account from bookkeeper to accounting. So let's go ahead and do that. Here is the account number, and I'm going to start typing accounting. Notice that when I do that, down below it says, whoa, there's already a, it already points out that there is an account already called accounting. So you can see them highlighted here in red. Okay, so we've done step three. Step four, um, I have just shown you that. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and click save. So when I click save, Oh, I get a little error message. Let's go back to our exercise. Step five, Cubio will now ask if you want to merge the accounts, and then you're gonna select yes, merge accounts. Okay, so right here, select yes, merge accounts. I'm gonna go back to my exercise. Let's see, step six. Notice the preview shows that you now just have one account. Okay, before we change the name, we're going to uh, want to save it. So if I look down here in my preview, notice under legal and professional fees, there's only accounting there. I'm going to click save. And notice that when I return, it says, whoa, there are no accounts that match the criteria. Well, that's because it still thinks that I'm looking for uh, the bookkeeper one right here. And I got rid of that account. I merged it into accounting. So we're going to have to clear this. Let's see what our exercise tells us to do. So we've just clicked step six. Step seven, we're going to scroll or use the search bar to find the accounting account. And then we're going to do the same thing we did before. Click the drop down arrow in the action column and select edit. Okay, so let's change this. So now we're not looking for book anymore. We're going to account. Okay, and here is accounting right here. And I'm gonna change this, remember, to accounting and bookkeeping. So I wanna edit it. Let's go back to our exercise. 
Step eight, we're going to change the name from accounting to accounting and bookkeeping, and then we're going to click save. Accounting and bookkeeping and click save. And now I have in my chart of accounts, I just have one account for both of those things. And then of course, in the exercise, we have one more final note that is a reminder to uh, that this is not giving you instructions for you should always merge these. This was just for the purposes of this exercise. All right. So next up, let's talk about um, making accounts in Act.